No one knows exactly how much pollution will be cut by this scheme, but Tallinn City Hall and its powerful mayor claim it would make them the flagship of the green movement in Europe. Among citizens about to make a significant saving on travel, not everyone's so enthusiastic. Of course I think about the environment, but I'm afraid that those who are used to travelling to work by car won't use the system. We need to do something else. If the price of fuel was higher, people might not use cars. But people who use their cars will not use public transport just because it's free. I don't think it really is free because we're paying taxes anyway. Three quarters of voters backed the proposal in a referendum. But only a fifth of those eligible took part in the poll. Behind every green initiative there are bound to be divisions about the benefits. And the opposition here claims that this is less about a clean environment, more about political hot air. The mayor denies he's simply trying to win votes and says the scheme will pay for itself by attracting more business. I am thinking in a green direction and so is the rest of Europe. In a few years I want Tallinn to be the green capital of the EU. Some estimates say it could cost 19 million dollars, a waste of public money, say opponents. There will be no significant uh, decrease in car transportation and no significant increase and in usage of the public transport. And that's why we say it's politics and not issue. But it's an idea that's catching on. Tallinn hosted a reception for other European cities interested in adopting the scheme. Now everyone's watching to see how far they get down the line. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, Tallinn.